Happy Monday, everyone. It's time for your plank break. Um, hopefully, I won't get to regret wearing my sweatshirt while I'm planking, but I've been so cold this morning. You know, it's just kind of gloomy and chilly, and eh. um, I will get warmed up when I'm doing plank, though. That is for sure. So um, today I want to look at, I have people talk, um, ask me about how to hold their planks a little bit longer and that they have trouble getting past 30 seconds or working up to a minute. And you know, the simplest answer is just to say, just keep holding it longer. <laughs> but I want to work on that a little bit today on encouraging you to hold longer while you're doing your plank. I'm also going to do a little bit of a different setup for your shoulders today. Um, one of our instructors, Crystal Lynn, sent out a, an article that had some good information and it was a reminder to me about setting up your shoulders for your plank. So we're going to start on our hands and just starting in your table position. So something that's a little bit different, I want you to pull your shoulder blades together and then reach them down your back and then lift your chest. So you've plugged your shoulders in a little bit further down than what you normally do. Think about lifting your chest, lifting your upper back, pull in your belly, and then come up on your feet, and I've started the timer. Shifting your weight forward slightly so you get a nice long line in your spine. Make sure you're not tucking your chin or looking forward. So I'm gonna keep talking to you. I want you to try really hard to hold your plank for at least 30 seconds. And then after that 30 seconds, maybe you rest for 15 or 30, and then you come back up again. So we're coming up on 30. See, this is just nothing at all. I know you ring, you're able to hold it for 30. If at 30 seconds, here we are. So if you're able to hold it for 30, keep going. Tighten up your glutes. Think about what you're doing with your body. Press your heels back. Press into the floor again. Pull in your belly. Keep your gaze forward. Stay nice and strong, remembering to breathe. You've got this. If you're working on a minute, we're, you only have 10 more seconds left to hold it for a minute, and I know you can do it. Keep pulling in your belly, tightening up your glutes. Hold it, breathe, keep going. We're at a minute, so congrats to you if that was your first time for a minute. If you're struggling now, just keep holding it. It's okay if your arms shake a little bit, I'll, but although you do want to make sure you keep a nice, you have nice form. Holding it for a minute with bad form really isn't beneficial to you at all. So I'm not trying to get you to hold it longer than you should if you're not really, um, if you don't have your nice long line and if your hips are sinking. Um, so 130, so if you dropped out for a few seconds, then you come back in again. Find your good form, keep pulling in your belly. That's something I have to remind myself all the time and I do this every day. Tighten up your glutes. I still have to remind myself to tighten up my glutes. Pressing into the floor, pressing heels back. So, you know, I mean, I have a lot of people who send me articles about plank. And I appreciate it, by the way, so keep sending them. Because <laughs> you never know when you might find something new to, or different about plank. Two minutes, so look at us, keep going. If you want to come down on your forearms, you can. Or maybe you do side plank, even. <clears throat> but every article does emphasize the same things as far as you're strengthening your core better than when, with just about any other exercise or pose that you can do. You're really um, strengthening your upper body, strengthening your legs, improving your posture. That's something that kind of gets lost sometimes is that you're really, 230 by the way. Remember, you can come out for 30, come out, hold it and uh, rest maybe for 30 seconds and then get back in again. That's how you're really going to work on your endurance. And, and lengthening your time. So it's not so bad if you have to rest, but don't rest too long. Then it's almost like starting over again. So keep going, keep going. We're coming up on three minutes. <clears throat> got five more seconds for three minutes. Maybe this will be your longest hold ever. Three minutes, <laughs> keep going. So anyway, back to, to the benefits, talking about your posture. And you know, that's one of the things that helps you look and feel younger is when you're pot, when you have good posture. That makes a huge difference in what's going on with your body. It makes you look younger. Um, and you just feel better about yourself when you're carrying yourself better. It also helps prevent falling, things like that, because you're going to be stronger. And it helps with your balance. 3.30, we got it going on. So I hope if you do hold it longer today, please let me know. Um, I do like to read the comments and hear if you feel like you are getting stronger and improving your hold time. It's a big deal. It was a big deal for me 
the first time I held for five minutes <laughs> or even two minutes. It's a big deal if you hold for that long. So let me know. We are coming up on four minutes. My arms are shaking a little bit. And we're at four. Okay, check back in again. Pull in your belly, tighten up your glutes, press into the floor, working on that shoulder strength. I mean, that's obviously one of the biggest things here is your shoulder strength. Pressing your heels back. Remembering to breathe. Sometimes you may find you're panting a little bit. By the way, I am getting a little warm in my sweatshirt. <laughs> but I'm glad because I was cold. I had my space heater on by my office. I'm working from home today. And I've had my space heater on all morning. 4.30, 30 more seconds for five minutes. Maybe you held it for 4.30 today or maybe you're taking a little breather and getting back in again. That's okay. Remember though, don't rest too long. And when you come back into your plank, make sure you have your good form. Go through everything in your head, pressing into the floor, pulling in your belly, tightening up your glutes, keeping your spine long. We've got five more seconds. Woo wee, that's nothing, right? Five seconds. And five minutes, where did the time go? You know, this is probably now one of the fastest five minutes of my day. It used to seem like the longest, but now it just goes so quickly. And I'm holding till 5.15. We got five more seconds. Whew. I'm shaking a little bit, pulling in my belly. Up oh, there we are. We're at 5:15. Okay. So, hopefully you held yours a little bit longer today. Um, and if not, it's okay. As long as you're holding plank, you're still getting some benefits out of it. So let me know. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow with plank break. See ya.